Your Excellency, before I call the Speaker of the National Assembly, let me, on behalf of the Muslim community, thank you most sincerely that when you are forming this administration, today we can confirm that the presence of the Muslim community in key important positions of this administration. That does not mean that you appointed us to serve the Muslim Ummah. You appointed each and every one of us, including my other colleagues from the Christian community, that we serve the people of Kenya. But our position reflects the inclusivity, the diversity of the government that you have formed. In all aspects of this administration, and on behalf of the Muslim community, we want to thank you. Your Excellency, the most important thing which was part of your campaign strategy and manifesto was to bring an end to the culture of extrajudicial killing, the culture of discriminations against certain sections of our community when it comes to citizen rights. Your Excellency, you will be the first administration that will address and has addressed this matter. That if you are called Mohammed, Hassan, and Osman, you'll be treated differently when you want to access certain important government citizen documents. Your Excellency, Nataka Tiniwambie, Wasitumia Mandamano Mwezu Ramadani. There is a world of difference. This is a man, ma, month of peace. Nata walipika mandamano paka 20th of Ramadan. So hata wakituambia ati wanangojia Ramadan ishe. Sasa umbe, unge tuweshimu suku ya kwanza. The first day this mandamano started was the first two days of the holy month of Ramadan. And your excellency, because you and uh, Honorable Musalia and myself, we are part of the original partners of the leader of the opposition in 2007 and 5. I have never seen, and every night it amazes me, that the electoral process in our country passes through constitutional parameters. The preparation of the elections, the conduct of the elections, the announcement of the results, the position of the Supreme Court. Then seven months later, somebody, your excellency, comes up and says, there is a whistleblower who we don't know. That that whistleblower is more important than the Supreme Court. That whistleblower says more truthful than the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. And I think time has come when the people of Kenya must stand up and say we are tired of these shenanigans. Election comes and they go. If you want to say you want to share power with this administration, then the best thing to do is Hassan Omar and uh, Abdul Samad Sharif should share power. They, vo they competed against each other. And Abdul Samad Sharif won the elections. Today he's the governor of Mombasa. And there are many other members of parliament, including our leader, Mashima Farham Ali. So if, it is the, if it, the culture is every time you lose fairly and squarely, you say you must share power, then in the end, the whole essence and importance of election will lose meaning. Why do people go, people go to elections, one, to get power. And if you don't get power, you, you become the opposition and you prepare yourself for the next election in all developed democracies. So Your Excellency, I think you'll spend, spend more time in making sure that uh, you fix the economy, you uh, 
install the rule of law and you bring equity and fairness. Sasa nataka ni muite uh, speaker, lakini kalba sijaita speaker, ye yeah, anapenda kusema, wa Somali wanasemanga, isdeji, isdeji. But he didn't tell you the history of this isdeji. You know, when he was the Minister of Foreign Affairs, he participated in the reconciliation process of the Somali peace process, a number of them. And he told me one time, <laughs> one time he told me at the heat of the matter and the reconciliation, there was a lady who stood up and she slapped a man. She slapped and she knocked him down. So the rest of them came up. When the guy wanted to beat the lady, they told him, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. <laughs> so, Honorable Speaker, it's your turn. Please come and uh, talk to the Muslims and then uh, invite uh, the Prime Cabinet Secretary who will in, uh, in turn invite the President. But at least uh, people know the history of his stage.